Hi guys. Okay, so in today's tutorial, we'll be talking about printing. You know, I'm excited now. In 2023, we'll have some modifications as regards our printing, unlike in the previous uh, versions of Revit. So we'll be learning how to print using this 2023 uh, Revit version. So, as you mean, I want to print this is a sheet, and I have similar other sheets here, this place. Which means I want to print this. How do I go about it? So the first thing you need to do is to type in Ctrl P or as a shortcut, or you make use of this particular. You make use of this uh, print. Now under this print, you have so many drop down menu. But one unique thing is that this batch print, print preview, and print setup are all embedded under this print. So you can instead of going under this place, you can go directly to this print. So when you come to this place, the first thing you need to do is to take the printer name. As you may have your printer connected to your system, it will appear this place. For this, for the sake of this tutorial, I will be making use of this Microsoft Print PDF. So coming to this place under this file, you will find out that you have these two options: create separate files, and then this second, first one will be combine multiple selected views to, into a single file. Now, assuming you want to combine these multiple selected views into a sheet, you need. I will show you who the difference between these two. This is now where you now put in the name of the file and create the folder where it will be saved. This print range under these three options. Assuming you want to print this particular, um, this particular drawing here, and you click this current window, it will print out all the drawings in this current window. Why this visible portion of the current window is, let me close this and show you. Assuming this drawing is in this form, and you come to type Ctrl P as a shortcut, and you come to this visible portion of the current window, what will be seen will be only, what will be printed will be only this particular, uh, only this particular part that you are seeing. So that if you come to preview, in this only this is what will be printed so let me go back continue but if you click if you select the selected views if you take the selected views it will be uh it will you it will be give you'll be given an option of selecting all the all the particular views or sheet that you want to print so when you click on this selected views this will be highlighted then before i go to this place um, we also have print setup, but I will come back to this printing this setup after uh, this uh, after going through this. So, on initially, I will be selected and uh, saved um, uh, the set that I wanted to print initially. So I will delete this set so that I will delete this set and then come to this. Um, okay so this is how ordinarily it will appear assuming this is your first time of printing from a flower work it will appear this way so what you need to do is assuming you want to print only sheets the prepared sheets in this drawing you'll find out that you have these sheets you can tick all of them but if you want to if you don't want to print you just tick the ones you want to print but I want to print all my sheets. So having ticked all this, what we now need to do is you can hide unchecked views. So I can hide all the unchecked views. So I will now untick this and it will be hidden. Meanwhile, I can still come to this place and untick this 3D. Or untick this one and leave only 3D. And in my own like 3D what to be doing and uh, for the sake of this tutorial, i just want to print only uh, my sheets and i've already okay all my sheets have been ticked doesn't matter whether i click this or not so coming down to this place i can you can preview what you uh, what you want to print so if i shift this it here so when i highlight this one it will come out any of them 
that you highlight will be shown under this preview. So having done this, I will go come bring you back to this. I'm coming under this print order. When you click this print order, you will be having the option of checking how your views, your your sheets will be arranged. Under this manual order, assuming I want my ground floor just as diagram, I assume I want my session one to be the first to be printed, I will take it up. Session two to be second. So you use your manual selection to arrange how it will be print how it will be printed out from the machine because most often I will not like to arrange start arranging my work after printing. So I would like it to print out the way be a uh, step out. So for me, I will always like it to be first ground floor, first floor, and then maybe put it being last as far this as regards in this tutorial. So if you click this sheet number ascending manual order is not preserved when switching to another setting say okay so when you click this sheet number it will be arranged as per this number 102 103 104 depending on how you have um, numbered these sheets now if you use this browser organization if you come to this place the way it has been arranged here that is if i shoot this way this fashion and now come to this printing order the way it has been arranged here structural fitting that's how it will be if i click under this browser order structural footing being the first here spot is first so ground floor first floor section one section two that's how it will be arranged but personally i always go with this manual order so that i can arrange it the way i want so this okay so this is personally how I do my the manual order. So I'll click OK. So having then you need to and maybe assuming you have so many uh, things you want to print, I want to arrange to a different set. Having selected these ones, you can come to this place and say create new or save as save a set. Maybe this um. For the sake of this, I will be saving this as tutorial, maybe tutorial print. Print, okay. So I'll be saving this with tutorial print. So assuming I want to select more views, uh, maybe 3D, I can still save this one as maybe 3D views, or I'll just say, yeah, 3, or 3D, no, 3D. So it will still be here so but for the sake of this tutorial let me just go to this tutorial point and then um the sheets so and if i want to update this name this tutorial print i can come to this place and click update maybe this is tutorial print if i want to change the name maybe tutorial print one i'll say okay update automatically so having done this i will now click edit you want to save this setting for use in future release section if you like you can click yes or no depending on what you want so the next thing i will need to do is to go under this setup when you now come to this setup that is when you will now be checking this um the print this sheet size for um, for this tutorial i used a print so I will be using a three also. Now coming to this um, name, I'm printing in section. What I have automatically, what I have already set, it is the the in section is the particular set that I've chosen. So I will leave print in section. Now under this portrait, you can choose portrait or landscape. Then coming under this vector processing or raster process. The major difference between vector processing and raster is in ra and raster processing is that when you want to make use of raster processing, you, thought you should only use it when maybe you have views that uses shaded visual style. Shaded visual style, or maybe when views has a, an image background, we have other uh, conditions. Maybe when you want that to necessitate 
the reason of faster processing but in most cases i don't use raster processing because the system already determines when to use it it knows when to use faster processing so i always go with go for better processing if there is any need for for the system to use raster processing to automatically use it and it will tell you that it is using raster processing coming under this appearance we that is when we are talking about the dpi dot per inch each of these if you come under this medium medium is two times the quality of medium is two times that of low and the quality of high is two times that of medium quality of presentation is two times that of high so presentation is the highest quality in other words but my for my for my own uh printing i normally use high it gives me what i want so this is where you now check maybe crystal color black lines all this depending on what you want to paint the appearance so having done this i can check uh maybe you want to change the um the setup this setup we have done now you can save it as a particular with a particular name so i will now say okay so having done all these settings i will now say um okay for it to start printing i will now save the name as you mean i want to save it with a uh, print print main okay say okay so now print so it has finished saving now but going back to the second option that i told you for control p going back to this um visible okay great separate files used to shift names will be appended to the specified to the specified name if you take this the implication is that each of the sheets that you created will be will be saved with the particular name remember in this first option in this first option all the sheets will be saved in the particular file it will be combined in a particular sheet so that you, if you open it you will be seeing all the drawings there but when you create this separate sheet separate file the implication is that all the sheet will be saved in an individual individual files so as you mean like click on this so to show you an example of what i've been talking about concerning this great separate file if i now click um okay okay do you have you have chosen to save five okay as a separate file five views as separate file. do you want to continue yes now the first thing it will ask me to put the first okay let me assume this is print let me say p1 print one save you will require me to save the second sheet maybe beat now then it will require me to save this is how i'll be saving it till i must have saved it the five sheets which is not in my it depends on what you want they are not going to be in single a uh, file rather in different uh file and different sheets you know? so that's just the two major difference um console so with this i think i will that will be the much i will be doing about on this particular thing. thank you thank you